Okay, welcome to Swell Academy. Uh, been recently renamed as uh, Class Time in um, honor of the weekend. If you got someone named the weekend, I think you should have someone named Class Time. So they're calling me the Class Time now. And uh, today the Class Time is going to be working on evaluating logarithms. Some simple like we have right in front of you. Some using a change of base. And then you have some tricky natural logs. Um you know, the line E, E to the X, and we'll just take a look at a couple of those. Simple, what we're looking for here to start is just basically A, A to what power is going to give you 512. So that's going to require some investigation of your own, but, you know, simple enough, we know A to the third is, is 512. Same thing here, 10 to what power is equal to 10? You know, 10 to the first is equal to 10. So our answer to log 10 of 10 or log base 10 to the 10 is just is just simply it's just simply one. Now you may end up with a log 710, and if the base is missing, we're going to assume it's a base 10. So in a calculator, if you're looking for a log, writing log 710 in your calculator like this, whatever calculator you have, is basically finding what log base 10 to the 710 is. And if I do that right here in front of me, log 710, uh, we have 2.851. And uh, usually they ask for the nearest thousandth. So we would just leave it as is. Uh, if not, maybe we would have to round up. But these are simple basic logarithms, one with a calculator. Let's take a look at a set. Um, this set is for when you're trying to solve a logarithm, yet uh, the log is not base 10, and we run into a situation where we're really not quite sure two to what power is equal to six, well, there's really not a whole number we could solve for there. So one of the moves we have in our, in our mathematical toolbox is a change of base formula, and, and basically what you're doing is you're saying, um, if I change, my log base two to six into two base 10 logs. So I basically change it into log base 10, six. I can put that over a log base 10 of my base number two. So, so basically this becomes a log 10 of, you know, let's, let's just say my bigger number, my non-base number, and then over a log 10, of my base number. That's that you just set that up. So, you know, simply on my calculator, I could just put log six divided by, or in some cases, your calculator will do that, log base two. And because a calculator is assuming you have a log base 10, and I just put that in there, log six, I'm doing it right here in front of me, log two, I could do it all in one one swoop here, although I just double parentheses. I'm, I'm notorious for doing that. And we get 2.584. So 2.584. And so basically the idea here is that if I were to raise two to some estimate of 2.584, I would get a value very, very close to six. You could test that out in your calculator. You could do two up caret 2.584 and see what you come up with. You'll probably come up with something very close to six, maybe 6.000, something along those lines. And just to finish up with a couple of tricky uh, natural logs, uh, the one thing um, we look at here is uh, line e to the sixth. You have this basic understanding through a proof that any logarithm, natural log of, of e to the x is just simply x. So if we have line e to the sixth, it's just simply going to be six. Now you get these tricky ones here, and the understanding is line e to the x can be also written as... Um, e to the line of x. So we could kind of write this as e to the line of uh, 1 over 10, right? There is a number there. You could, you could say this is line e times 1 over 10. And whatever 
we see here, whatever the X is here will be our will be our, our answer here. So we can say one over 10. So a lot of times when you end up with that line E over six, simply your answer is one over that number six. So here's a, just a couple simple tricky natural logs which in which we're using these um, kind of formula setups here. Hope this helps. Remember, hard work always brings success. Uh, so just keep keep working on these and uh, kind of testing your answers and working uh, working up to a own set of uh, your little uh, tools and and playbooks.